16th August 2021, 75 years ago, the same day in 1946, a massacre was happened. The Great Calcutta Killings. Direct Action Day. Do you know what it is? Most of us, especially the current generation, may not be knowing or may not be aware of the event that happened 75 years back. This day of 9, uh, 16th August in 1946, it marked one of the worst communal riot that India have ever experienced. Let us take a quick look at the history. Direct Action Day, 16th of August 1946, also known as the 1946 Calcutta Killings, was a day of widespread communal writing announced by Jinnah that incited violence between Muslims and Hindus in the city of Calcutta in the Bengal province of British India. The day also marked the start of what is known as the Week of the Long Nights. Morning of 16th August, even before 10 o'clock, police headquarters at Lal Bazar had reported that there was excitement throughout the city that shops were being forced to close and that there were many reports of blouse, stabbing and throwing of stones and big bats. These were mainly concentrated in the north central parts of the city like Raja Bajar, Kola Bagan, College Street, Harrison Road, Kulu Tala and Banu Bajar. In these areas, the Hindus were in a majority and were also in a superior and powerful economic position. The trouble had assumed the communal character which was to retain throughout. The Lynx Rally began at Octalone Monuments at noon exactly. The gathering was considered at the largest ever Muslim assembly in Bengal at that time. The meeting began at around 2 p.m. and the processions came across all the corners of Calcutta and after completing the midday prayers. And it was evident and it was visible that people were carrying arms, ammunition and brickbats in their hands. Hindus were slaughtered. The women raped and tortured the noteworthy incident being the rape of Hindu nurses in a nurse hostel in Harrison Road, now known as MG Road, Central Calcutta. Shuravar did never try to stop this civil war like situation and bloodshed. Rather, Shuravarti was roaming around Calcutta with the army chief instead of making an attempt to end the bloodbath. It was during such a dire time for the Hindus of Bengal that Dr. Shama Prashad Mukherjee stood by their side as their saviour rushing in to provide relief to them and rescuing those in need. <laughs> still rakes about the respective responsibility of the two main communities, the Hindu and the Muslim in addition to individual leaders role in the carnage. The dominant British view trends to blame both communities equally and single out 
the calculation of the leaders and the savagery of the followers amongst whom there were criminal elements in the congress version of the events post 1968 the blame tends to be squarely laid on the muslim league and in particular on the chief minister of bengal surwadi the view from the muslim league side nowadays partly upheld in bangladesh the successor state to east pakistan is that in fact congress and the hindus used the opportunity offered by direct action day to teach the muslim in calcutta a lesson and kill them in great number rashid 1987 Thus, the riots opened the way to the partition of Bengal between Hindu-dominated Western Bengal, including Calcutta, and the Muslim-dominated Eastern Bengal nowadays, which is a Bangladesh. There is a split accusation in pro-Congress accounts, partly upheld in British shows, that the Surwadi attitude overtly incited violence. The two main points emphasized are Surwadi positions himself with the Cronies in the policy police control room and thus prevented the police commissioner, a British national who was technically in charge of law and order, from attending to the trouble with free mind. At the meeting held in the Maidan, a vast open space in central Calcutta, Surwadi told the Muslim League crowd, estimated to have been at least 100,000 strong that he had taken measure to restrain the police which was interpreted by many in the crowd as a license to loot and kill. So this is the episode what exactly was going on during this Calcutta killings. So we need to know more about this Calcutta killing right where we can definitely go ahead and understand that the sequence and the facts that happened at that part of time. This is one of the crucial part of Calcutta killings, guys. We would request everyone to hear it out. Understand how our country was at... The Muslim League Council proclaimed 16th August 1946 as Direct Action Day in order to accentuate their demand of a separate Muslim homeland after the British left the Indian subcontinent. Their main aim was to attain a different country with a Muslim majority. Direct Action Day, 16th August 1946, also known as the 1946 Calcutta killings, was a day of widespread communal writing announced by Mr. Muhammad Ali Jinnah that incited violence between Muslims and Hindus in the city of Calcutta, now Kolkata, in the Bengal province of British India. The day also marked the start of what is known as the week of long knives. Mr. Mahmoud Ali Jinnah, the one-time congressman and then the leader of the Muslim League had accepted the cabinet mission plan of 16 June as had the central presidium of the Congress. On 10 July, however, Mr. Jawaharlal Nehruji, the Congress president, held a press conference in Bombay declaring that Although the Congress had agreed to participate in the Constitution Assembly, it reserved the right to modify the Cabinet Mission Plan as it saw fit. Fearing Hindu domination in the central government, the Muslim League politician pressed Jinnah to revert to his earlier unbending stance. Jinnah rejected the British Cabinet Mission Plan for transfer of power to an interim government which would combine both Muslim League and the Indian National Congress and declared and decided to boycott the Constitu Constituent Assembly. In July 1946, Jinnah held a press conference at his home in Bombay. He proclaimed that the Muslim League was preparing to launch a struggle and that they have chalked out a plan. He said that if the Muslims are not granted a separate Pakistan, then they would launch direct action. When asked to be specific, Jinnah retorted, go to the Congress and ask them their plans. When they take 
you into their confidence, I will take you into mine. Why do you expect me alone to sit with folded hands? I also am going to make trouble. The next day, Jinnah announced 16th August 1946 will be direct action day and warned Congress, we do not want war. If you want war, we accept your offer unhesitantly. We will either have a divided India or a destroyed India. It was evident from the very incidents which took place in Calcutta that the whole story, the whole situation was well planned and well instigated. In the year of 1940, the Muslim League had already passed a resolution for a separate Pakistan. In the year of 1946, March 1946, the Prime Minister Clement Attlee announced transition of power and after that he tried to form the interim government which was not accepted by Muhammad Ali Jinnah. At that point in time as well he started thinking of a direct action day and for which he started campaigning which was called a peaceful campaign across India mainly in Punjab and also peacefully in Bengal. If you look into the reason behind, the direct reason behind the riots in Calcutta, we can figure out that the Muslims were made and instigated to take part in this violence to make sure that Muslim League can demand for a separate state for Muslims. And that was the reason the Calcutta killings was a turning point in the Indian history and the turning point behind the partition of undivided India. So we would like to thank you for hearing us and we would just request you once again to go ahead and share it as much as you can and you can guys go ahead and view it as give a give, we would love to take your feedbacks guys because that is one of the valuable thing we have the facebook channel um, uh, facebook group over there with the shama prashad enlightenment uh, federation we have the youtube channel with the national icon we have we are uh, we are on the instagram also so guys we just want your cooperation with us at this part of time because resources are very very uh, less however we know that we need to improve a lot but it will take certain time so we would definitely say uh, beg us for this or pardon us for this time and support us so that we can make more beautiful videos coming episode right you guys will be able to see a uh, fantastic artists will be there right uh, who you'll be guys uh, hearing them that how this song was actually sung so that's all from my end guys Thank you so much for today. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.